Okay, situation 8. A triaxial test was performed on a well-drained sand sample. Normal stress at uh, failure plate, 63 uh, kilopascal. Shear stress at failure plate. So, it is a well-drained sand sample. So, sand is cohesionless. Anyway, pag walang binigay na cohesion, then yung ang um, more circle natin is simple. Dalawa kasi yung possible dyan eh. Kung walang cohesion, yung more circle natin will look like this. Mag-start siya sa zero. May cohesion, then yung failure envelope natin, ito yung ating uh, more circle, gaganito siya. Meron tayong cohesion dito. Basta may binigay na cohesion. Hindi kailangan talagang tandaan kailan uh, magkakaroon ng cohesion, ano yung condition kasi ibibigay niya naman. Nakastated, nakastate yan kung merong cohesion. But sa problem, walang sinabing question. So, and also sun is questionless talaga. Okay? So, ano yung ibig sabihin dito? Normal stress at failure plane and shear stress at failure plane. So, it is not different sa mga previous problems dito sa November 2023. So, kung ito yung ating soil sample, ganito kasi yung scenario dyan. Yung ating soil sample, or yung element natin, nasa loob ng chamber. So, pero yung liquid. Yung liquid natin magpo-produce ng equal pressure all throughout the surface. Yan yung sigma 3 na pinaplot natin. Pinaplot natin yan sa ating uh, more circle. Now, ito yung axis. Axis ng element. Uh, meron tayong idadagnag na plunger stress. Okay? Which is called as sigma D. Na equal yan dapat. Kasi equilibrium yan. So, yung mangyari dito, yung total stress, axial stress, that is the sigma 1. Sigma 1 is equal to sigma D plus sigma 3. As you can see uh, sa mga, ano natin, more circle na plot natin sa more circle. Now, pag dagdag natin ng sigma D, there, there is a some point at a uh, value of sigma D mag-fail yung ating element like this at an angle theta. Now, yan yung failure plane. Yan yung stresses na tinutukoy dito stresses at that point. So, kung pag ikat natin yan, may shear stress sa parallel sa plane, tawagin natin tau F, may normal stress perpendicular sa plane na yan. Okay? Yan yung ibig sabihin sa point na yan. Nasaan natin yan makikita sa more circle? So, this is a sigma versus tau. Ay, yung ibig sabihin nito, okay, halimbawa, ah, sigma 3 tayo. Ah, sigma 3, and ito yung ating plunger stress. Uh, sigma 3. Uh, this is along this one. Okay? Yung stress in this element is sigma 3. Uh, in this direction. Ito yung sigma 3. Then, yung stress naman in this direction sa axis is uh, sigma 3 plus sigma d. So, ito yan. Sigma 3 plus sigma d. That defines the sigma 1. Now, again, yung sigma d is the more circle. That is the diameter of the Moore circle. Oh, ganun pa rin. Ito yung ating radius center. Now, cohesionless soil from here, from zero, tangent at that Moore circle, itong ating normal and shear stress, yung stresses at that plane, ito yung point niyan. That is the point. So, this is still the radius. Uh, this is tangent here. Okay? Ito yung ating phi. Ito yung ating normal stress at failure plane. Sa so, yung term is normal stress at failure plane, plane yan yung ibig sabihin na yan. So, along the sigma axis. And yung shear stress at failure plane, ito naman. So vertical, for kanyang parang y-axis natin. Tau F42. This time yung given is not the sigma 3 and sigma 1. Yung given is the stresses at that point. Okay? So, first question is determine the angle of internal friction of the sun. Ito pa rin yan. Um, angle of internal friction. This time, we cannot use this triangle. Hindi na yan kasi wala tayong available R initially. No? What we will use here is this triangle. Very obvious. Meron tayong vertical, which is that one. Meron tayong horizontal, which is 63. Tangent. Tangent of phi... Ah, ito yung 90 degrees this time. Equals to opposite tau F. Okay. Adjacent sigma F. Walang formula to. 
kailangan lang natin marunong tayo magplot sa Mohr second. Tau F is 42, sigma F is 63. So answer for angle of internal friction, uh, 33.69 degrees. Yung phi na yan, hindi yan yung ating theta ha? That is not the theta. Yung theta is the angle of failure plane. Yan yung tinatanong dito sa number 32. Determine the angle of failure plane with respect to the horizontal axis. So ito yan. Yung angle theta. So, okay. Paano natin yan gagawin? Paano natin yan ilocate sa more circle? So ganito yung mangyari to. Alright. Ngayon, oh, mayroon na tayong angle of phi. Alright? Tanggalin yan dito. Tanggalin natin yan. So, eto. Pinagay natin yung angle of phi. Now, kung sa element, sa actual element, yung angle natin, kasi yung angle phi galing dito, sa plane na yan, Yung stresses sa plane yan is the sigma 1. Sigma 3 plus sigma D is the sigma 1. So, yan yung uh, stress on that plane. So, galing sa stress na yan, galing sa plane na yan, which is, defines that stress, sigma, sigma D plus sigma 3 is our sigma 1. So, galing dito, sa more circle, twice of theta yan, yung i-rotate natin. Kung sa actual element, theta, okay, Itong plane na yan, nag-rotate tayo ng counterclockwise theta sa element. Dito naman, galing dito sa stress na yan, which is, again, the stress on that element, on that plane. So, ito yan, sigma 1. Galing dito, mag-rotate tayo ng 2 theta. Same as direction, counterclockwise. So, counterclockwise ito. Huh? 2 theta. So, yan yung 2 theta sa more circuit. Kaya, um, using the theorems of circle, Etong arc na yan, okay, ito yung kanyang central angle to theta. Kung i-plot ka to dito, from here to that point, kung 2 theta yan, ito siya is theta. Bakit theta yan? So, theorems of circle. Intercepted arc, the same intercepted arc, central angle is twice the inscribed angle. Okay, central angle is twice the inscribed angle. So, ito yung tinatawag na failure plane. Kaya ito tinawag na failure plane because that defines the angle at the element kung saan mag-fail yung ating element. So, inahanap, inahanap natin yan. Okay, to solve for that, so, tawagin ko itong angle omega. Okay, yung angle omega natin, considering this right triangle, that one, uh, 90 degrees to dito, so right triangle tayo, omega Omega is equals to 90 degrees minus phi. Ganun siya kasi 90, 90 degrees yan dito. Now, again, considering this right triangle. Now, considering this point, the total angle here, Omega plus 2 theta is equals to 180. 180 to. Okay? Kung i-substitute ko yung Omega na 90 minus phi, that one, then, i-transpose ko yan on the other side. Ito, matranspose na dito. 180 minus 90 is 90. So, matitira 2 theta. You have 90. Okay, 90 degrees. Then, itong theta phi naman magiging plus, plus phi. That's why the, the relation here, the formula of theta, the angle of failure is 90, I mean 90 over 2, so 45 degrees, plus phi over 2. So, ito yung formula. Makikita nyo ito sa mga books. Relation of the angle of theta sa phi. Pwede mo lang idaan talaga sa geometry. Ako, sanay tayo sa geometry. Walang formula na i-memorize. So, dinerive lang natin dito. Yung phi is, uh, nasolve natin, 33.69. So, angle of failure plane from the horizontal. 61.85 degrees. Letter B. And determine the actual stress applied to the specimen. Yung axial stress, yung total axial stress, yung axial mo nito, dito yung axial natin. Bale, kung circular yung ating uh, element, yung soil sample natin is circular, ito yung axis. So, yung axial na tinutukoy yan is uh, the sigma 1. Axial. Axial, along the axis. So, it is the sigma 1. It is, again, sigma 3 plus sigma 3. 
sigma 3 plus sigma d. Sa sigma 1 yung inahanap. So, dito papasok yung geometry. Lagay natin yung mga datas na nakuha natin. Discardian nyo lang. Yung meron tayo is only the distresses. Discardian lang natin. Now, ang gagawin ko, um, I will solve, of course, we need to solve for R. Isosolve talaga natin yung R. Um, later on, isosolve ko yung distance nito. Ito dito. Center distance. From zero to that point center. Pag makuha ko yan, then meron tayong R. I-add natin sa R. Yan yung sigma 1. Ganun ang mangyari. Again, discarte lang to. Yung unang-una kong gagawin is kukunin ko yung length na to. Considering this right triangle, ito yung unang data natin eh, na meron tayo. This is the sigma f. Ito yung tau f. Ah, meron na tayong v. I can solve for this. Tawagin ko siyang z. Ito yan. Yung part na ito. Obviously, right triangle, Pythagorean theorem. Square root of 63 squared plus 42 squared. You have the z. Again, ito yung distance na yan. Yung z. Now, after I have that one, I can now consider this right triangle. Meron tayong isang side ng right triangle, meron tayong angle. So, these two are solvable. Okay? Tawagin ko tong C, a distance dito, from the zero to the center of that more circle. Isolating that right triangle, ito yan, 90 degrees at that point. This is the Z, this is the R. Ito naman yung distance C. Again, kung masolve ko to, masolve din natin yung R, which is also that one, then yung total axial stress is C plus R. Obviously, we can solve that uh, these two variables in that right triangle. Now, tangent ako. Tangent of this equals to R over Z. So, R over Z is 75.717. You have R. And to solve for C naman, I can use pwede Pythagorean, but pwede rin cosine. Cosine of angle Adjacent side is ito. Hypotenuse side is C. So, adjacent side 75.717. Hypotenuse is C. Kuha natin yung C. And yung total axial stress, again, ito yung axis ng ating soil sample, is sigma 3 plus sigma D. That is the sigma 1. Okay? C plus R. Pwede rin sigma 3 and sigma D by the way, no? But dito, pwede rin, nakuha kasi natin yung C and R. Alright, yung C is 91, R is 50.478. You have 141.5. Kung gusto mo naman kuhanin yung sigma 3, yung term dyan is minimum principal stress, o pwede rin confining stress, or liquid pressure. Pwede rin sa liquid pressure. Okay? So, it is C minus R naman. Tanggalin mo naman to. That will uh, give us the sigma 3.